September 7th. 70. Jerusalem demolished, and her foundations broke up on this day, Gregorian time. The walls were crossed on Friday, the last day of August, the conquest was completed. On the Sabbath and the Calends of September, and the havoc consumed about six days. There were slain or butchered one million beards. See 8th August or Pius is a tropical month, beginning 25th August. 1069. The Danes again made a descent on England, and landed at Dover. 1134. Alfonso, King of Urgan, killed in battle. 1493. Frederick IV, of Germany, died. He was a weak, indolent and superstitious monarch, who saw his subjects revolt with indifference, and was afterwards reduced to beg his bread. 1533. Birthday of Elizabeth, afterwards Queen of England, daughter of Henry VIII and Anne Boleyn. 1566. Nicholas Zrini, a Hungarian Leonidas, killed. He had thrown himself into the castle of Sigeth, with 3,000 men, and was besieged by the Turks. This number was dwindled down to 600 by repeated sallies. The Sultan died of rage at his obstinacy, and the Grand Vizier made a general assault. Zrini rushed out at the head of his band, and was killed by three balls. The whole garrison shared his fate. Above 20,000 Turks had been killed during the siege. 1644. Gray Bentivoglio, an Italian cardinal, died. He wrote an account of Flanders, and a history of its civil wars. 1655. Nicholas Abram, a French Jesuit, died. Distinguished for his proficiency in the dead languages. 1671. A great training in Boston, says Winthrop's journal, which lasted two days. 1,200 men in the field, not an oath uttered, nor any body drunk during the whole time, though there was much wine and strong beer in town. 1706. Battle of Turin. The French under Count Maurice and defeated by Prince Eugene, with the loss of 2,000 killed, and all their baggage and ammunition, and the military chest. 1736. The door of the toll booth of Edinburgh burned, and John Porteous, who had been sentenced to death, but reprieved by the Queen, taken out of jail by a mob, and hanged on a lamppost. 1760. Montreal surrendered to the English. By the reduction of this place, Jen Emers completed the conquest of Canada, and the subversion of the French Empire. In North America, which was added to the British possessions. 1772. An unprecedented rain and consequent flood happened in Inverary, Scotland. 1776. George Smith, an eminent English landscape painter and author, died. 1779. John Armstrong, a celebrated Scottish poet, died. 1783. Leonard Euler, a Swiss mathematician, died. He possessed great erudition, and was perfect master of ancient mathematical literature, and had the history of all ages and nations, even to the minutest facts, ever present to his mind. 1784. Anne Lee, known by the appellation of the elect lady, or mother of Zion, and head of the sect called Shakers, died at Niscomunia, near Albany, New York. 1798. Peter Frederick Sum, an eminent Danish historian and miscellaneous writer, died. His histories form 16 quarto volumes, and his other works 15 volumes. 1799. John Ingen Howes, an eminent Belgian natural philosopher, died in England. His chemical discoveries were applied to medical and agricultural improvements. 
1799. Peter Charles Le Monnier, a celebrated French astronomer, died. He was one of those who made the journey to the north in 1785 for the measurement of the globe. 1805. Thomas Butler died. He was a brave officer in the American Revolutionary Army, but refusing to comply with the general order to cut the hair close to the head, he was involved in much difficulty with General Wilkeson. 1807. Copenhagen surrendered to the British after a long bombardment, in which 6,000 were killed and wounded, and 1,800 houses destroyed. 1811. Peter Simon Paulus, a distinguished writer of Prussia, died. He accompanied Empress Catherine's famous expedition to Siberia, for the observation of the transit of Venus, etc. He was subsequently tutor to the Grand Dukes Alexander, afterwards Emperor and Constantine. 1812. Battle of Borodino. The Russian army consisted of 120,000 and the French had an equal number. There were also 500 cannon employed by each. The slaughter was dreadful. Of one of the Russian divisions that mustered 30,000 in the morning, only 8,000 survived. These had fought in close order under a fire of 80 cannon. It is computed that not less than 30,000 Russians and 50,000 French were killed and night found either army on the ground they had occupied at daybreak. 1820. Great Solar Eclipse in England. 1827. Abo, the capital of Finland, nearly destroyed by fire. Only 800 volumes of the public library escaped destruction, and nearly 100 persons perished. 1831. Warsaw captured by the Russians under Paskiewicz after two days fighting. Russian loss estimated at 20,000. 1833. Hannah Moore, a celebrated English authoress, died, age 88. Her works are very numerous, by which she realized upwards of $140,000. 1836. John Pond an eminent English astronomer, died. He was named by Drive Maskline as the fittest man to succeed him as astronomer royal, which office he held during 25 years with consummate ability. 1838. William Carfax, an officer of the Revolution, died. He was one of the lifeguards of Washington, and supposed to have been the last survivor of that corps. 1839. Andrew Halliday died, a Scottish medical and historical writer of merit. 1847. Letters from St. Petersburg of the 7th September state that that city has been visited with the most terrific storm of wind and rain ever experienced. Within the memory of the oldest inhabitant, it rained incessantly for 48 hours, whilst the wind blew with intense violence. The result of this visitation was the destruction of above 400 houses. At one period fears were entertained for the safety of the entire city, and some timid and superstitious persons apprehended. The end of the world was at hand. 1850. The bill admitting California as a state and Utah as a territory of the United States passed the House of Representatives. 1851. Levi Woodbury, an American statesman, died at Portsmouth, New Hampshire, aged 64. 1855. The first Hebrew temple in the Mississippi Valley was consecrated at St. Louis. 1855. Leonard Meulesel, the inventor of several musical and automatic instruments, and who exhibited a famous chess player in this country, Died at Vienna, aged 79.